I'm actually doing this video on the 30th of Tishri, which is Rosh Chodesh Hezvan. Hezvan is a very special month because there are no holidays in Hezvan. So, the real secret is that the whole month is a holiday. If there are no holidays in it, it's deeper than the holidays. And that's why the uh, name Hezvan is, uh, contains the word Nahash. You see, the same letters are in Nahash as in Hezvan. And so this is one of the great secrets. And one of my things here now is that I'd like to do some gematria for Hezvan. Hezvan fully spelt out with the letters and everything and using four letters for the original four roots comes out to 900. I'll do this at some other time uh, if you like the full gematria. But the, I mean to do it for you, but it comes out to 900. And one of the reasons that I'm doing all this is because I've now uh, uh, come into close contact with the cave of Machpelah, the cave of Avraham that he buys um, for uh, you know burial purposes for Sarah and stuff. And that cave of Machpelah, fully spelt out, comes out to be not fully spelled out, just the, the Mem, uh, uh, Ayan, uh, Ma'aret, or whatever it is, Machpelah. Um, that in itself comes out to be 900. So there's a final Nun, a final uh, uh, Zade, which is 900. And that's that. And that comes out to be Hezvan. So there's a great deep secret in this month of Hezvan between the cave of Machpelah and the and uh, Hezvan itself and why there are no holidays well one of the reasons there's no holidays is its close association between the, the deaths the, 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 the death and the resurrection of the dead and as I've done in a previous video a few years ago which you can check it out uh, looking up Hezvan in my videos, uh, I, I, I feel that the um, Mashiach times will come in Hezvan. And um, now, how do we find this? This morning I woke up and the din of the name. Seven seven of uh, the din of the name Yud Hey Vav Hey in itself would be Hey Vav Hey. This spelt out in full in the seventy-two name Hey Vav Hey comes out to be fifty-two. So the din of Yud Hey Vav Hey. Fully spelt out as the 72 name is 52, which is the 52 name itself. And this 52 name is the root of the cave of Machpelah because the cave of Machpelah has two double haze. It's a little complicated here, but this is straight Kabbalah. And I didn't make up this that the root of the 52 name is the cave of Machpelah, and it has two haze in it, which are four. And so all roots of two, which are four, which you'll know from Talmudic, comes from the cave of Machpelah and from the 52 name. So there's a great din. Now where does the 400 shekels come from that Abraham, Abraham paid for this cave? The 400 shekels comes from the 72 name and the four yuds in the 72 name. That's Yud, Yud, Yud Vav Dalet, when you spell it out. Yud Vav Dalet, then Hey Yud, that's two. Vav, Yud, Vav, that's third. And Hey Yud, that's the fourth. So there are four Yuds, each times ten. 
that means that there are 400 uh, if each one is 100 there's 400 so the the number the pe the, the, the the price of 400 shekels comes from the four yuds of the divine name yud yud hey vav hey fully spelt out as 72 and of the world of of um, uh, etziliot the world of hokma specifically so this is uh, one uh, there's a great secret as we're approaching hezvan we're approaching hezvan which is the secret month so deep that there are no ostensible holidays and so this is what I'm actually getting into for myself which is what I call uh, being off the grid while on the grid being off the grid within the grid this is a great secret Anybody can be off the grid in Timbuktu, but you can't be off the, how to be off the grid in New York City. That's a secret. If you go to a place where there's no cell phone connection, then you can be off the grid immediately. But how to be on, off the grid in the middle of the hustle and bustle and that's what you call the center of this cyclone, center of the storm. How to find that, that stillness in the center of the storm. So I don't want you to, I don't want people to like leave to find the center. The center is always with you as you walk. Find the center in chaos. Find the center where you are. Don't think you're going to leave and find the center. You're only going to take your problems with you. And that's the whole idea of like, like vacation even, or, or retire to what we call the Florida room. The dream. Find it here. you off the grid while on the grid and that's the great secret and I think that's the secret of Hezvan and that's what's approaching me and I think that's the secret of the cave of Machpelah Abraham's cave and that's the great secret of the seven, 400 because 400 is the number is the letter Tov and in some Kabbalistic systems we go up to the letter Shin in this domain, in this world. The letter Shin, as shown on Tefillin, and as shown on a, on a mezuzah. Shin is our physical limit here. And as we go into, into the, 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 the next world, the Olam Haba, that's the letter Tov. This is expressed by the name Shet. And, and, and Shet, Set, Shin Tov. Shin is the limit of this, of this uh, 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 world. And then Tov comes, and that's what's coming in the next world. Shin Tov. Set. So that's shown as the as the as the third sun. Now, how do we get 900 here? We put a resh in front of it, and that's how we relate it into in and resh. And there's another thing that came to me in the middle of the night because resh, shin, and tov spells it reshet. Randy Scott Turner, my brother's initials in English. So these are great secrets here, how they unfold. And in my opinion, there's, there's, there's a, a lacking in Judaism. 
that we're not associated with the dead and the, and the association of the dead. Anyway, so there's some Hidushim here. If you stayed long enough through the boring first part of the video, but in a certain sense, I do that on purpose, you know, because some people don't listen to the whole video. And so the manifestly obvious is put in the beginning, and then some deeper issues unfold. And uh, that's, that's what happens sometimes in life itself.